a book about the four seasons. A book about what, boys and girls? The four seasons. Four seasons. At James Matthews Elementary School in Pine Bluff's Dollarway School District, learning to read is a top priority. I just recommend, you know, you go out to the Family Dollar Store, or one of those stores, pick up some uh, cards, ABC cards, start teaching them the letters, and then from letters graduate to sounds. I have a 19-month-old grandson, and he already knows A, B, C, D, F to G, and he knows his number one through ten. Of course, he can't recognize them, but he can say them, and that's very important. Principal Linda Davis is an advocate for literacy who started her education career as a literacy coach. I think that parents need to start reading to their children even when they're in the womb you know, start reading. My daughter, uh, my oldest daughter is like 35 now, and when she was nine months, she started talking. And I rushed it off to the doctor's office. I thought, what is wrong with this child? You know, in nine months, you do not talk. You know, and she didn't start walking until she was like 15 months old, but she could say like, at nine months, want one. Uh, you know, things like that. And it was shocking to me, and then I realized it's because I would read it to her every day. You know, when I came home, I would look down, I would read to her. She got older, she saw her dad and I reading, and so she began to enjoy reading. Davis and her team are strategic, outlining the strengths and the challenges each student faces, then tailoring a plan specific to each child. It is part of the federal government's No Child Left Behind program. And get our main idea and our details, okay? Anna Miller is equally committed to excellence in the classroom. It's very critical to make sure they have understanding and comprehension. We have to make sure that they're focused. And that's why we're going to text to self. Bring them into the story. Let them know that they're a part of the story, you know, and that's what helps them to comprehend and stay focused. Despite negative perceptions, she stresses that every child is capable of learning. It's just a part of what I love to do, and you do whatever you can to bring them in and make them engaged. And once you're there engaged, you can see the little light bulb go off, and you know you got it. There is progress in the air at James Matthews these days. Because of past academic missteps, the state assigned a consulting firm to the school to address problem areas. Working together, the administration and the consulting firm have helped the school become stronger and the students are excelling. And if you look at statistics concerning um, people incarcerated in prison, 79% of state incarcerated individuals have low literacy scale. Federal, 59%. So that, to me, was very shocking. And that's why I'm very passionate about literacy. I want every child that comes into this building while I'm principal to go out reading and comprehending. For the Village Celebration, I'm Vicki Newton.